Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is a morning update. So you all remember the story about Prince Andrew and the puppet that was made in his likeness that he allegedly used to assault a young lady with. Well, now we have a man named Steve Wright, who is a puppeteer who says that Prince Andrew told him about this, the puppet in his that was made in his likeness, and about how it was purchased by Epstein, etc., etc., all the way back in 2003. So that basically corroborates what, what Ms. Schuberg and what Virginia was telling us. Once again, more corroboration. And what it is, it, it comes out in these little trickles, right? There's like these little nuggets all over these articles that we have read for the past year. And you have to go through and you have to farm all of those little nuggets and you have to put them together and build the picture for yourself because the bitch-ass legacy media will never do it. You would think that they would come back and talk a little bit about that kind of stuff, right? They'd add more context and they dig a little bit more than just under the surface. But no, they won't do that. So it's up to us, independent content creators, and up to you, folks out there who are interested, to put the pieces together. So that's what we continue to do here on the on the podcast. And this uh, story we're going to read this morning is just another... One of those type of situations where we're going to add a little more context and what it does is it basically corroborates Virginia's story about what occurred that night. So let's jump into this article from the Daily Mail and just and let's see what's going on with the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family and the puppet that looked like him. Headline. Prince Andrew remembered seeing spitting image doll at center of grope claim in Jeffrey Epstein's New York home, claims award-winning puppeteer Steve Wright, uh, Steve Wright. Now, why would this man, Steve Wright, lie? What would he have to gain by coming out and saying that this occurred if it didn't occur? Nothing. He's coming out and he's telling his story because guess what, folks? The Joe Exotic of the Windsor family is a reprehensible-ass character, and nobody really likes him. The only reason anyone even suffered him before was because he was the queen's son and a prince of the blood. Now that he has fallen into ill repute with the royal family, now that he has found himself no longer as a working royal, well, people are going to start talking. People aren't so worried about what he might be able to do to them if they come out against him. And we've seen that more and more, uh, uh, more and more of that occur as we move forward in this story, and not just with the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, but with these other so-called elites as well. This article was authored by Mark Hookham and Lucy Moses. Joe Exotic of the Windsor family recalled seeing a spitting image puppet of himself at the home of U.S. pedophile Jeffrey Epstein during a function at Buckingham Palace, the mail on Sunday can reveal. So, first things first, it's nice that the Daily Mail is calling him what he is, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, that is, a pedophile, and it's nice that they're not calling him a financier, Thought we put that in the past a long time ago, but there's still some outlets out there that still want to call him a financier and Ghislaine Maxwell a socialite. And, well, I don't know why they would want to continue to do that, but they do. So it's nice every time we get an article and we don't see any of that BS in it. Steve Wright, an award-winning puppeteer, says the Duke of York told him at the 2003 reception that his own puppet from the satirical TV show had been brought by a friend in New York and how it it had been used to play a prank on him. So he admitted that story right here and right now. Let's focus on that. He just outed himself when he told this uh, Steve Wright guy that his buddy, a friend, quote-unquote friend in New York, bought a puppet to play a joke on him. Well, he just outed himself and corroborated what Virginia 
has has went out on record and said, and what Ms. Schuberg had come out and said as well. So how do any of his eight defenders left in the world explain this? How do you explain all of this stuff that has been piling up about this moron, the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family? How do you explain it if it's all not true? It's just everybody's out to get him. A a puppeteer, Stephen Wright, is out to get him. He has a, uh, a, a grievance against Prince Andrew. Is that what you would have us believe? Steve Scully, he has a grievance against Prince Andrew. Those girls in the nightclub, they have a grievance. I'm sorry. The fact of the matter is, at least in my opinion and from what we have available to us, is that Prince Andrew, a.k.a. the Prince of Nothing, a.k.a. the Prince of Toads, a.k.a. the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, is lying to us. The puppeteer was one of 600 guests and had been nominated to attend because of his contribution to education. So there was 600 people at this party. This puppeteer had a conversation with Prince Andrew and Prince Andrew, trying to make himself out like somebody in the know, starts talking to this guy about his own puppet experience. Little did Prince Andrew know that all of this shit would be compiled and years later it would come out and hang over his head. And that's what's happening right now. It's hanging directly over his head. Because, look, he says he doesn't even know Virginia. But all of the stuff around his story seems to be a lie. He has nobody to corroborate his story. Who's going to corroborate it? The bipedal serpent, Ghislaine Maxwell? His disgusting pedophile friend who's pushing up daisies? He has no witnesses. He has nothing. He has no truth. And when he tried to come out and tell his side of the story, well, we saw what sort of epic failure that was. And without any truth and without any receipts, how can anyone expect the world and civilization as a whole to believe this man? I don't care that he's a prince. I don't give a damn who he is. The exchange appears to at least partly verify claims that socialite... Ah, see, they screwed up here. they, They did a good job at first with calling him a pedophile. Now they call her a socialite. So I guess I have to correct that, huh? Socialite, well, how about fellow child abuser, general all-around scuzzbag, and bipedal serpent? Ghislaine Maxwell presented the prince with the puppet in April 2001 in Epstein's New York home. Yeah, look, this is a matter of record at this point. We've known about this for quite some time from Virginia's statements. And now that Stephen Wright is coming out and he's corroborating it, well, it just makes sense that the rest of the story that she told was true, doesn't it? How long are people going to try and deny the facts here? How long are loyalists going to remain loyal? It is alleged that Andrew used the puppet to grope Virginia Roberts, then age 17, and Johanna Schuberg, one of Epstein's former sex slaves, then 21, in the mansion study. So both of these girls went on record and said this occurred. The Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, out of his own stank-ass mouth, told Stephen Wright about his friend in New York and the puppet that they used to play a joke on him. So that's called circumstantial evidence, all right? And when there's enough of that, well, that means you usually bring the subject in. But Andrew has been able to skirt and avoid justice for far too long. In fact, he won't even come in and give a witness statement. In an unpublished book, Miss Roberts, who claimed she was forced to have sex with Joe Exotic of the Windsor family on three occasions, wrote that when Andrew cut my breast with a, with a doll made in his image, I only giggled away. I mean, jeez Louise, who do, I mean, you're the Prince of England. What are you doing, bro? I mean, honestly, you have all the money in the world. 
you could have whatever sort of kink you want fulfilled by paying a few bucks and getting something ordered in. You don't need to be out here cavorting with Jeffrey Epstein with all of these young girls. You don't know how old they are. You don't know who they are. You don't know their stories. But here you are out here groping them with uh, 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 a puppet that's made in your image. And then you're going to act like you don't even know this girl. After the fact that we saw the pictures, we've had the corroborating stories. It is not a good look. In fact, it makes you look guilty as hell. Ms. Schoberg testified to the alleged incident in a 2016 legal deposition, describing how Joe Exotic of the Windsor family and Miss Roberts were sitting on a couch with the puppet. So again, this is not just Virginia who is coming out and saying this, right? This is not just something that has just been thrown out there. This is two people who are relaying the same story, the same account, and another person, a third person, corroborating that Prince Andrew admitted that there is a puppet that was made in his likeness. And so then I sat on Andrew's lap, and I believe on my own volition, and they took the puppet's hands and put it on Virginia's breast. And so Andrew put his on mine, she added. The Duke has always strenuously denied having sex with Miss Roberts and any other wrongdoing. So they're both lying, right? Both of these gals are lying. Virginia's a liar. Uh, Johanna's a liar. Everyone is a liar but you. I should believe you. Another bipedal serpent over these girls who have nothing to gain. What did they have to gain when they came out? Against Epstein, nothing more scorn, more life in hiding. So I don't know what you think these girls had to gain when they came out and exposed this shit. But the fact of the matter is Andrew's going to need to do better than some bullshit ass, weak ass attempt on on Emily Maitlis's news show. He's going to have to speak to authorities and he's going to have to really be forthcoming. In lieu of that, then I think that the Department of Justice should move forward and aggressively to prosecute Andrew and bring him in for questioning over Virginia's claims. Because if it was an average person, a normal man, and somebody made these claims against him, they would be in jail, they would be answering questions, and at the very least, they would have to go under oath. But none of that has occurred with Andrew. I think he's been given ample time to do the right thing. So if he doesn't want to do the right thing, he has to be compelled to do so. Mr. Wright, 55, who uses puppet characters to teach young people about issues including sexual health, recalled how the prince became animated when he told him about his work. And you see, this is where another thing with Andrew, he always tries to fit in, right? Even though he's the prince and people should be trying to fit in with him, he has such a, I don't know what you would even call it, but a character flaw where he's one of these people that has to fit in. And he found out this guy was a puppeteer and he couldn't keep his fat yap shut. He had to act like he knew about puppets. Oh, my good friend Jeffrey Epstein had one. Ha 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 ha. It was made in my likeness and for a joke. He said, I told him I was a puppeteer and how I just started making puppet shows and that people really like him. Like them, excuse me. Then I showed him a picture of one of my puppets and he had a clear facial reaction. The story literally exploded out of him. He said, oh my God, puppets, spitting image. Do you know that my friend brought my spitting image puppet and you'll never believe it. He played a trick on me. So that's that right there is the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family admitting himself that the puppet exists and that Jeffrey Epstein or his friend in New York bought it for him. What more do we need to face the music that what these gals are saying is true and what these survivors are alleging is true? All the evidence is there. You have to be one absolutely stuck in the mud moron to not see the forest through the trees here. He told me he went to an apartment in New York and saw the bloody thing sitting up on the sofa and that he nearly had a bloody heart attack as he was there looking at himself. Oh yeah, I'm sure a bloody heart attack, huh? Were you sweating though? 
did 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 any beads of sweat drip down your stank ass royal forehead? Mr. Wright from Huddersfield said he learnt of the allegations about the spitting image puppet earlier this year. Why would she, Miss Roberts, make up a story about puppets? It, it all just clicked, he said. Last night, a spokesman for the Duke declined to comment. Well, yeah, I agree. Why would she make that kind of story up about puppets? That's She came up with that, huh? She, Virginia was sitting around racking her brain and decided, Oh, yeah, puppets, that's a good idea. I'm going to say he used a puppet to grope me. What the? No, I'm sorry. It doesn't ring true. It doesn't pass the smell test. You know what sounds true? And you know what seems to be the, the fact of the matter here? That the puppet existed and that you, the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, did everything that these girls are alleging that you did. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at B-O-B-B-Y underscore C-A-P-U-C-C-I. All of the links that go with this episode can be found in the description box. And to all of you who have donated to the PayPal, I really appreciate it. I'll be back later on, and we'll pick it back up then.